my T-Rex friends? Boy, it's been a while since our last check-in with Terry and the gang, hasn't it? Well, they've had a little break, but are back in action. In fact, Terry has made some new friends and even discovered something that he never expected was possible. He was always told something about his T-Rex syndrome that just wasn't quite true. So it's time for us to wave goodbye to mom and dad uh, just for a few minutes and find out what Terry has recently learned. We'll call him back later and we'll share the stuff that we learned with him. Well, it was the first day back at school after spring break and Terry, Ozzy, and Andy were just excited to see each other again. It was only a week, but the three buds are so close that when they don't get to see each other, it seems like it's an eternity. Well, they all showed up to school early so they could toss the baseball around and talk about their vacations a little bit. While they were playing catch, Andy got a bit distracted and he ended up throwing the ball in the wrong direction and hitting Mr. Spackle, the school's caretaker, in the back. Now they all got scared because Mr. Spackle can get pretty angry sometimes and he's really big he's one of those big gigantosaurus rexes and terry doesn't realize it but mr spackle is actually a very distant relative of his they're like fourth cousins or something like that but neither one of them really knows much about all that to their surprise and <laughs> mr spackle just picked the ball up and tossed it back on over to the boys without even getting upset you boys lose something? Here you go, he said as he threw the ball over to Terry. Terry was a little stunned and he stared at Mr. Spackle for a moment and he noticed his shoulder jerking as he raised the flag on the pole. He tossed the ball to his friends and he then walked over to Mr. Spackle. Hey, Mr. Spackle, can I ask you a question? asked Terry. Make it quick, kid. I'm busy this morning getting things ready for your first day back. Mr. Spackle was a bit gruff, and Terry knew the man had a lot to do, so he hurried on with his question. I don't mean to be rude, but I noticed you twitching after you gave us our ball back. Terry was timid as he spoke, and he didn't want to upset the large caretaker. I do that same twitch, and the doctor told me I have Tourette's syndrome. Is that what you have, too? Mr. Spackle finished running the flag up the pole and slowly turned around to Terry. With a kind and somewhat sad look on his face, he acknowledged Terry's question. Well, young man, as a matter of fact, yes. When I was your age, the doctor told me the same thing. I was much more active than I am now, and he said I'd grow out of it. Terry's eyes grew wide. He never met a grown-up with Tourette's syndrome. He told me the same thing. Is it true? Will I grow out of it? My tics can be very exhausting sometimes, and I just wish they would go away. Terry was surprisingly very open about his Tourex now that he knew Mr. Spackle shared the same thing. Well, I can't really speak for everyone, but I never grew out of it, like I was told. But I did learn how to control it really well. I still have my tics, but I don't worry about them. They're small potatoes compared to how they used to be. They were really bad when I was your age, and other kids used to tease me and pick on me for it. Terry listened intently as Mr. Spackle spoke, and then he chimed in, Yeah, some of the other kids do that to me too. I don't know how to make them stop. I get mad and sad at the same time, which makes me tick even more. I just don't know what to do sometimes. Mr. Spackle looked at Terry for a minute before he replied, It's never easy, but you have an opportunity now that I didn't have. In fact, we both do. Now that I'm a grown-up, people don't think I have Tourex anymore. They think it goes away after a certain age. I'm a forgotten statistic to many. Maybe you and I can team up and teach others some things about Tourex that are true and other things that aren't true. Terry began to get excited and let go with a couple of head twitches. You would do that with me, he exclaimed. I would love to explain to others that I'm no different than them. I just make some weird movements and sounds. He smiled from ear to ear at the thought of working with Mr. Spackle on a special project. You bet. 
It's time I put my foot forward and did something to help kids like you and I. I've seen some of the kids bothering you, and it's time to put an end to it. Mr. Spackle was firm in his statement as he looked down at the smiling young lad. Terry shook Mr. Spackle's hand, and they agreed to meet every morning about 30 minutes before school so they could come up with a presentation to give to the school and plan on how to carry it out. Terry headed to class, ticks and all, but with a smile on his face and some joy in his heart. This second series of Tourette Syndrome carries through it an overall theme of building confidence in youngsters and others who are affected by Tourette Syndrome. Through education and spreading that knowledge and awareness throughout the general population, we can dispel a lot of the misinformation regarding Tourette. There is still a lot of things that are misrepresented by not only society, but even within medical circles. For instance, the claim that Tourette goes away after a person grows up. More adults are stepping forward, like myself, and exposing that rumor. Uh, although we do learn how to control it more, yeah, the disorder is still present, raising its ugly head at times as we deal with various forms of stress excitement, and just life in general. The comorbids associated with Tourette also continue to manifest in a number of ways. Treatment options are typically non-existent or very rare at best for adults as those earlier beliefs have caused a major void within the population. Help everyone in the Tourette's community by continuing to learn about the disorder and spread accurate information to others. And nobody should ever have to go without treatment of any kind, especially when it's due to faulty information. Time for that fist bump. Bang. And this is Megalodon saying bye for now. <laughs> Later, tater.